Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Armory Daily for Gamers Platoon. Checking in with you today, and if you can't already tell by the big name floating on top of everything, today we're looking at Terraria. I hope I said that right. I'm not sure I did. Uh, it's a weird way to pron pronounce that name. I don't know. I'm American, so don't don't get upset with me. They don't teach us anything in school, okay? So, moving on. Uh, Terraria, what is it? Um... 2D side scroller similar to Minecraft, not exactly because it's 2D, but it's very similar from what I've seen and what I've played. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's got a couple features here. Um, it's an old school like style of gameplay. You'll see that uh, it's based on like a role playing games like um, health system, like you have health and you do damage based on your uh, your weapon and so on and so forth. So it's got a cool, uh, it's got a cool, neat feature to it. Um, but there's not a ton of extra stuff to look at. So we're just gonna hop right in game. I'm gonna show you the character creation. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the things that you can build. I'm probably gonna die because there is a day and night cycle in the game, as you can, if you can't tell. There's a day and night cycle in the background, and um, you know. It, it is what it is in this game. This is um, a fairly cheap game. I've been out of the loop of like making these videos have the price and of the game, but we're going to get back into that, so I'm going to do that right now. We're going to look up the price for Terraria. Alright, so here we are on my girlfriend's account, in case you were wondering why I look like a hot chick. Um, I'm not. So go to the Terraria page. This game is going to cost you $9.99, so eh, not a bad price, but uh, let's hop in game here and, and uh, go right in and check it out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here we are in game, as I said, 2D side scroller, very simple, but very fun. Um, I actually had some fun playing this game, those tombstones are where I died learning how to play before I made the tutorial. But um, if, you'll check the t <laughs> if you'll check the top left of the screen, you'll see the um, things that I have on my person. These are the 1 to 0 items, like in Minecraft, that you can actively use. You hit escape and you have a bigger inventory of things that you can use. I see I got some dirt blocks, uh, some tombstones, I got some wood. And uh, the crafting chart is down here. When you click on an item, it will tell you uh, what that item can craft. Like if I put this here, this wood can craft a couple of different items down here. And uh, so the game's a, it's a little tweaky to get used to. You kind of got to understand what's what. And uh, there is a guide that will help you in the beginning. And this is my crude house that I built. And I built this because I was getting destroyed by uh, monsters. But you see here I have out my pickaxe and I'm using the mouse to uh, to destroy the stone of the house. And Because um, I don't know how to build a door yet. <laughs> but uh, you see, that's uh, one of the basic concepts of the game is, you know, you take out what you need to, uh, to fight. Like I got the sword out right now so I can fight this little jelly guy. Um... Or if you need a pickaxe for stone or a, you know, axe for this wood, you can, um, you know, hold down the left mouse button while you do this, and that tree will come down eventually, I promise. I'm just, uh, I'm a kid, okay? Can't cut down trees so fast. Ooh, there we go. We got like six billion pieces of wood. And, um, you know, it's simple. It's a very simple game, and, um... Uh, I actually kind of like it. So the next thing I'll show you is some of the blocks. Uh, you see I have the stone block here um, and I can place the stone block by um, clicking. Let's see I can click here. You can create you know really whatever you want. There's items in the game that you can create as well like uh, beds and work benches and all sorts of just um, crazy stuff, you know, I would recommend like a Wikipedia page or, you know, a Google page to really kind of figure out exactly what you can and can't build, but, um, you know, the object of the game is, uh, I, what I believe it to be is just kind of survive. You go around, build yourself a cool little castle or, um, you know, whatever. You got some in-game money, so I'm expecting you able to be buying stuff later on or, um, you know, in the, the future of the game and, uh, you know, it's it's a pretty neat game if you don't die in the water like I am. 
I am probably gonna die, but uh, it's okay. That's what always happens in the live commentaries. So here we'll pull out the uh, the axe, and we'll show you. You can dig down into the ground as well. It's not just a um, you know an up scrolling game. You can go down. Uh, there is an underworld similar to Minecraft, not exactly, um, I would assume, but I'm sure it's similar uh, in some respects. But, you know, the, as I said, the game's simple, and um, it's easy to play, and uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't take a lot to to, uh, to get used to. Um, there's a few things that, you know, you have to do to, to kind of orientate yourself. Like I said in the beginning, you'll, you'll need to talk to a guy to, to get everything squared away. He'll teach you how to... Uh, to use some of the items and how to build some of the things like the workbench and things like that but then you uh, you know you just set out and you explore and the terrain is all randomly generated and it's not um, it's it's not your typical this is the same thing you're gonna see every time there'll be different kinds of caves and, and things like that and I believe the game even has um, you know m multiplayer support for f four people I think, I'm um, not positive, but you guys can go exploring, looking for dungeons. There are dungeons in the game. I'm probably not going to find any because they're, they're late in-game kind of thing. But, um, you know, this is what you can do. If, you, if your lifelong dream has to, uh, been to build an igloo, then please take the snow just like this and build yourself a motherfucking igloo because you deserve it. You spent $9 on the game and uh, you should be able to build your igloo and live in here. And no monsters will be able to get you. <laughs> Not even the blue jelly up there. But, you know, it's simple. This is uh, this is pretty much all I have for you. It's it's not a lot to the game, and that's what makes the game awesome. That's why it's in the armory. It's a simple it's a simple game that you can, you know, play with a couple friends or, you know, even by yourself if you just want to build your own thing with books and uh, shelves and um, you want to eat these mushrooms, you know, it's it's all here. The game is, it's like I said, similar to Minecraft, and, uh, you know, but it's on the 2D side-scroller. And uh, it, it's, it's simple enough for people to enjoy for a short amount of time. I haven't got bored with the game. I've been playing it for probably about two and a half hours now. And I haven't I haven't been bored the entire time that I've been playing. Even during doing the review, sometimes you know if I'm in in a review, I'll you know I'll have played the game so much, or you know you know just trying to learn how to how it works, or just on my own time I've, I've played the game so much like Arma that sometimes you know it can get a little boring. But uh, you know I've been playing this game for a couple hours now, and it's it's very fun. Um, it's rewarding to to get the things that you're working for. You know, to to get that house built up, to kill that little green jelly, and then collect his gel and his money. It's uh, it's it's simple, and I like it. So, for Gamer Splatoon, this is Daily. We'll see you guys next time in the Armory.